Hello there and welcome back to Bullets for Bucks. Today I'm going to talk about five antelope hunting tips. So this is going to be a quick, short, sweet video giving you five tips before you go out on your next antelope hunting trip, aka speed goat, aka goat. Really, it's the North American pronghorn. Anyways, tip number one, antelope use their eyes. Their eyes are their primary defense or sense they use to defend themselves against predators and hunters. So the way an antelope's head is designed is their eyes are basically on the side and they can see essentially 360 degrees around them and they have very good eyesight. So tip number one is use the curvature of the land to your advantage when stalking an antelope. Stay low, stay in the cuts in the gullies and travel in those cuts or behind brush. Also, don't move too fast because like any animal, they're gonna be looking for movement. They can see very, very far, so good camo can help, although it isn't necessary. Tip number two. Tip number two for hunting the North American pronghorn is practice. Practice shooting, that is. Practice shooting at ranges out to three and 400 yards. Now, sure, that's not to say you can't get within 10 yards of an antelope and shoot it. It's just that much more difficult because they use their primary sense of sight against you as a hunter and to see you the further away you are um, precise and accurate and confident shooting, the easier the hunt's going to be for you. So if you practice out to three and 400 yards, you should be good to go. I always say practice to 400. Most shots will be, be below 300, but practice to 400, even if it's just to boost your confidence and get you ready for the hunt. Tip number three. Now this goes more into after you harvest, but a lot of people will say, oh man, antelope meat tastes terrible. Well, they're wrong. Antelope meat, in my opinion, is the best game meat there is. In fact, I pre prefer an antelope backstrap over an elk backstrap any day of the week. Here's why, meat care. The meat care from the time you shoot it to the time you eat it is very important with an antelope. It's more sensitive than other meats. So what that means is, you don't leave it out in the field with the hide or the guts in it overnight like you do a whitetail out east if you can't find it. You don't leave it, uh, you know, field dressed and hanging with the, with the hide on it in your garage for a day or two. You don't do that with an antelope. You skin, you quarter, and you have that meat on ice within one hour of shooting it. And I guarantee you, you're going to be amazed at the quality and tenderness of that antelope meat. Tip number four. If you're hunting antelope, remember that... The, although they are a basically dry plains animal and high desert animal, they need water. So on years where it's really dry, they're going to be hugging those water sources at least a couple times a day. So look for green areas when you're e-scouting or scouting in person. Look for those water sources and figure out where they are before you go in and hunt. Because on drier, the drier the year, the more they're going to be hugging those areas with high moisture and water. Tip number five, you're never gonna outrun an antelope, all right? So if you get on some antelope or a herd of antelope and they take off running, do not take off after them. On foot, you will never outrun, even on a four-wheeler, don't bother, okay? Do not try to run, outrun and cut off an antelope. Maybe in a vehicle, you can work your way around on some roads and figure out another angle, but you don't chase an antelope. Once that antelope busts and run, you don't chase it. But if it is the rut and the bucks are running hard, Stay where you're at because there's chances that buck, that buck will reroute and push its does right back to you, sometimes within even a couple minutes. So those are my five tips for antelope hunting. Hope you enjoyed this short five tip video on antelope hunting. If you did, go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel.